All right, guys, we're going to talk to you about another feature in Agent CRM that can be huge. Depends on whether you decide to use it or not. But if you use it, it can be huge. And we've got Will on here from Agent CRM. Will, thank you for being on today's recording. Hey, everyone. Glad to be back. So we've got Will on here. He's going to talk the, the tech language, and I'm going to talk the agent language. So Will, tell our agents what the opportunity is, or the opportunity feature is in Agent CRM. And I'm going to go ahead and um, show yeah, where it's at. For a second. You take this is a great, there. yeah, this is a great place to start. And just to recap, this is the fourth, fifth recording in a series of videos. So if you're stumbling across this specific video on YouTube, wherever you're finding this, this is a series of videos that we're covering. What are the Luis Moreno exclusive assets? We've got separate training inside of Agent CRM, but in these videos, we want to show uh, Luis uses this. He's an agent who uses and designs specific content. And so it's been uh, fun even for me to dive in. What has he created and how do you use it? Uh, but today we're talking about opportunities. And this is a way to organize and track what stage of the relationship are each of my contacts in? Is it a new lead? Is it a client? Is it someone who has already booked an appointment? Have they not shown up? So this is a tool that we're going to show you today. You can see here we're looking at the contact profile view. So on the left, on the middle, on the right, there's specific information related to the contact that we're talking about. You can see if text sent or not. This is a demo account. Uh, that's why it shows unsuccessful. But let's hop over to the opportunities tab on the left hand side here. Okay. Opportunities. And I'm share one thing, Will, because you did talk yes. the tech talk. Let me show you. I know what you agents, what us agents do. All right, we get a lead. Okay, you can't see my desk. Well, you know what? I'm going to take my camera off. I want you to see what normally happens. All right, let's see here. I'm going to show them this craziness, Will. Hold up here. All right, without messing up my camera. Will, oh, can they see all my sticky notes? This is like showing your dirty room. May I clean know? Up, I know. Socks. Don't look at the bottle that there. That was a gift. Okay, I got a bottle of scotch there. <laughs> but I got sticky notes, guys. All right. Reason I wanted to show you the sticky notes is because I know how us agents operate. Okay. So we get a lead and we get a sticky note. Hey, here, call this person. All right. They um they have this for you or they have that for you. And I and I take a, a, a sticky. Then the sticky goes here, it goes there. Or maybe if I'm super organized, maybe I have a board. This is what I used to do. I had a big board. And I would put my stickies on there, kind of like what you said. Hey, this is the this is where they're at. And I would grab the sticky and I'd move it, okay, from here to here, from here. And then we would close the deal and it would go to this other one. And then stickies would fall on the ground. And I'm like, who do they belong <laughs> to? I know I have stickies on the other side of my desk, down the back wall where the uh, where where I can't reach. Okay, that's the way agents operate. Now we're doing an electronic version of this, but way, way better where you can track. So I'm going to go to opportunities right here, and then Will, I'll let you take over. All right. Yeah, there's a few problems that this tool is supposed to solve as much as you, you utilize. Now, hopefully all the tools you need to manage your business are in this software. Some of them you are going to use more intentionally. Some of them you're going to say, hey, that's a great tool. Um, I don't need it as much, but let's just show what this is going to look like. If you've watched the last video, you remember a lead, a contact has come into the system already. So part of that process is, uh, let's actually create a manual opportunity. Many things that we're talking about are going to happen automatically. But in this example, we just need to put someone in there. So uh, let's, let's put do my it. name. Let's I just, know we're going to do this. Will. Will, you look good, man. You look like you use a lot of oil of lay on your face, man. But you are truly 65 years old, all right? So I'm going to put you into my turning 65 Medicare lead. So I'm going to go to Will, find my contact, click on Will. 
and I'm going to scroll down. And right here where it says opportunities, I can hit add. It's going to give me a list of all the op, all the boards that I've created, but I'm going to stick them into the turning 65 and I'm going to stick them into the new lead stage. Okay, boom, done, successfully created. I'm going to close. Let's go back to opportunities. Whoa, check it out, Will. Whoa. So that's there you great. Are. You showed us the manual way. Yeah, I'm glad you did that there. Uh, so that's the manual way that you add. There are many ways that a, a person can come into this pipeline, but imagine you just had a conversation with me. I cold called you or uh, I, I outreached you. But if someone came into your system through a Facebook campaign, the result is the same. A opportunity card should be in there on that first stage. So this is the way, imagine at some point you've got 10 in the first column, new leads, uh, five in the second column, contact made, called no contact. Each column, you can visualize how many people do I have at each stage of my relationship? Whether you are checking in with me, let's see where Will's at, or maybe you're doing a, a bird's eye view of your business. Gosh, <laughs> Luis, I've got 105 new leads and I've got two contact made. You think I should make some calls at that point? So this is a great um, way to track individuals or just get an overall assessment. Where are my contacts at? What kind of actions do I need to do um, as an agent to move my business along? Maybe get on the call uh, with some of these new leads. Um, but you can see here, Will is in the first column. Maybe... Luis is getting active. He's making some calls. Why don't you drag that card and show them what you can do here? So I called Will. <clears throat> Will answered the first time I called and no contact. He didn't pick up the phone. All right. He's a little stuck up or he's not stuck up. You know, he's like, he saw me and said, you know, whatever. He just didn't answer. But he called me back and we booked an appointment. Perfect. I'm going to put him into appoint appointment booked. Beautiful. Now, Will, I know, and I don't know how to do this personally, but I know now that this appointment is booked. So let's just say that I booked you for this Medicare enrollment and I'm following my compliance rules and I booked you 48 hours from now. I booked yes. you on February the 8th at 2 p.m. What would I do here? So in this, this is just a way to track. Now, he's moving this card automatic or manually. But in reality, most of the time, if I book an appointment, it's actually going to move that card automatically. So you could just show up and look at this and you'll see, hey, look at all those beautiful booked appointments. Um, behind the scenes, there's a brain that's making all of these things function automatically without you thinking. But this is just a way to track, um, to monitor, maybe to dive in there and move things manually from time to time. But you're going to get texts, the contact is going to get texts, and there's going to be that link so that at the right time we can show up. Now, maybe I didn't show. You need to track that in the system so you can move that. That's great. Now, uh, behind the scenes, here, is when yeah, you're there, about it. I've got things set up on the appointment no-show. Yeah. I've got automations on here that's going to let Will know, hey, Will, what happened? We had an appointment and you didn't show up. Hey, click on this link and please rebook yourself and please keep yeah. your appointment. So all of those things, imagine you have a no show. Now, how many minutes is it going to take for you to type out that email? Multiply that by how many no shows you might have. I'm hoping you have no, no shows, but that's the reality of this is that we have all these extra communications Someone doesn't show up. You don't want to type an email every time. You just want to drag their card and all of a sudden they get one email. Maybe they get a text. Maybe they get a series of emails because you want them back on the calendar as soon as possible. But you don't want to be the one that's after them, after them, after them. You get the system to do that communication for you. So again, things are happening behind the scenes. Uh, cool things can be customized if you have ideas. But by default, there's a lot of really great essential communications that are triggered. 
just by that card moving, whether you move it manually to no show, an email will be sent or whether um, other actions are taken that move the card for you. This is a way to track and then get a bird's eye view of all of your contacts in specific pipelines. Um, you can see at the top, we're in the T65. Again, I know I'm looking good for my age, um, but there might be different products that you sell. And if you just do a drop down there on that T65 thing, you can track all of the different products, all of the different enrollment types. Um, that way you can categorize <laughs> instead of having different boards, all your sticky notes. Imagine you're getting right in there, really dialed in and organized in the system. Yeah, this is really cool. So I can go on here to Will and I can, let's say we book an appointment. Now I can go on here and I book my appointment. Um, let's see what calendar, since this is a demo, we don't have a lot of data in here, but I could book my calendar. And then yep. I would book time and then now we have an appointment. And then, yep. so I met with Will and we submitted an application. So I move him here. Then uh, the application got approved and it was issued. I can move it over here to sell made. And then I've got accomplished the mission. Now I'm also gonna wanna do a few other things, okay? Maybe now that I've sold him the Medicare, now I wanna go talk to him. I, I'm gonna put him into this category and we're going to start a cross-sell live campaign. Maybe I sold them a live, you know, or maybe not. So you can kind of customize these stages to what works for you and your sales process, or just use what we have. We have tons of stages, but it's like he said, it's a bird's eye view. It's a, it's a, you know, you're, you're taking a view of what's happening in your agency. So if you utilize this the right way, you could have a bunch of maybe appointment no-shows give this to one of your assistants and say, Hey, I got 20 no-shows. Try to get them back on the phone and rebook me. Um, you know, or maybe you've made some sales, but they're kind of sitting here. They're not going anywhere else. And, and now maybe you've hired a life person. You're like, look, I've sold 10 of these things. There are clients for you now go and try to cross out everything else. So it's a really excellent tool of giving you a bird's eye view, but then behind the scenes, if you create, jobs for each stage okay workflows so when they go into the no-show there's a job the job is the appointment was a no-show and maybe now it's going to send will text messages emails to let will know that he stood me up that i'm very very mad at him but i'm going to allow him to book me one more time otherwise i'm going to fire him okay <laughs> and so he can book i said i will make an exception because life happens Book yourself one more time and please don't be late. And then maybe instead of sending him three text messages, I'm going to send him six to remind him of his appointment that he rebooked. I might need it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hey, you're a busy guy in retirement. Uh, never know. So this is what the opportunities page looks like. Again, it's it's it just it enhances what you can do. It's not necessarily something you must do, but if you're trying to run an agency and you're trying to track all your leads and your sales, this is a pretty darn good tool to have. Any final words for opportunities for, for agents? I think, um, again, you're going to find what tools in the system work well for you. There are a lot of great tools. Maybe this specific tool, a great question is how many post-it notes do you have on your, your desk? That might be a good indication that this is a tool to make use of. Um, but just to uh, recap, as we close up on this specific feature that we're covering, uh, let me share again. If you are just stumbling across this video, some of you who are watching, most of you are already signed up. You signed up through Luis, but let's just show you again here that Luis has a very specific link that we are asking you to use. The reason for this, you can see here, get Luis's exclusive templates. Everything that we're covering in this series, you have to sign up through this link to get access to. Uh, please reach out if you made a mistake, if you um, neglected to use this link, our support email that will be in the uh, text below. But that is how you get access to what we're showing you today. Um, an additional thing that we've talked about in one of the other videos 
If you want more one-on-one -on -one access, uh, please use this link first. Uh, that's in the description, the signup agent-crm.com slash Luis hyphen Moreno. But if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with someone, we do have um, these packages where just pay for three months up front and we'll give you three hours of one-on-one -on -one time. Uh, use the other link first just so that you get the assets. But there are options where we can dial it in. As we've said, there's some ideas, there's some fine-tuning, there's some uh, coaching that you might want, and that is an option for you as well. And when you use my link, guys, you get all access to everything I have created and what I will create, okay? That's right. I'm going to share my screen wheel here real quick, which is the uh, the what I, what I call the um, my snapshot of everything that I offer. So you've got a Medicare snapshot with all these Medicare things. We have an ACA snapshot. We have a life snapshot, a dental and vision, an auto and a home. So you get all that if you decide to use my link. And there's one here that I think I've added, but we just finished open enrollment for ACA. We had about 1,700 new enrollments um, and probably maybe 10% old payments. And so I sat with my staff. I'm like, guys, do we have any workflows for letting these people know that they owe their payments? Otherwise, we're not going to make any commissions. So they looked at it. I'm like, no, we don't have any. I'm like, well, let's go. Let's build one. So we build out a job, a workflow for ACA clients that owe a payment. And we were very specific with these because at, we did one with Aetna, United, and all the major carriers. And in this email and text message that went out to everybody, we put the specific information in there for each carrier. Okay. So if they're with Aetna, well, we want them to call the Aetna number and get their payment done. We put the Aetna website for them to create an account, their account, so that they can do their payment. Uh, we put the, the, buy, the uh, provider link in there. So we do stuff that's very specific. Took us about an hour. We put it all together and we started implementing it. So as I build out new stuff, you guys are going to get that. Okay, so just be aware. Here's another thing. So this past Monday, I mean, this is how dynamic this is. This past Monday, I was meeting with my team of nine people. And uh, and I was like, all right, guys, who is doing social media posts? And a couple of hands went up. And we started looking at different things that we could do. Well, we decided, these guys were like, oh, if we post this and we get comments and we get appointments, I'm like, here's what we're going to do. We're going to create an agent CRM, a landing page where people can land on. And you're going to do your post and you're going to post this link on there for them to book an appointment. So we're not going to chase them. They're going to, they're going to book it and then we're just going to follow up. And so now they have a link. And what we decided to do is all of my homeowners that, that don't have flood insurance, but I bet they think they have flood that it's covered and it's not where we now created a, uh, we, we, we're, we're creating a picture of a of houses flooded. Don't let this happen to you. Uh, you may or may not have flood. In addition to your homeowners, call us and we'll go over it with you. And so we posted our number on there along with a link that was created in Agent CRM for the landing page for them to land on as well as for them to book an appointment. So there's a lot of different things. Here's the beauty of this, Will. I love agent CRM tech support. I don't think there's any other CRM where you can call in pretty much all day long and they've got people on a Zoom call just waiting. They're probably playing solitaire, you know, and gaming right now. And they're just waiting for you to go in there and ask them, hey, I've had this problem or I have this idea. Can you help me implement it? How do I do it? And they'll walk you through it. That's a yeah. beautiful thing with agent CRM. If you're wondering about the support options, that was covered in video two of this series that we're doing. Yep. So hop in. All right, guys, we covered opportunities. Um, that's It's a great feature to utilize. And we're going to jump into our next video. So stay tuned.